Today I want to show you some of the problems I have faced with the gimbal Weibel S gimbal and how I solved one or two of the items the rest they have to go and fix the design of the Weibel S gimbal right really at the end of the day it's your choice whether you want to use a Weibel S gimbal or not it's it's then good if you balance it once and for the next few days or few weeks you keep using it as is it's not the type of uh, device that you can keep swapping in and changing cameras every few minutes right it's a real pain to use so let me show you some of the problems i faced some of them i have shown in the earlier video and the solutions are so shown here in this video so let's have a look right and you can judge for yourself how good this gimbal is so this is another irritating point i found see i have to bring it in to the edge and screw it in not easy to handle Now I can move it in and screw it in all the way and now I can mount it to my camera, the tripod point. So let's film. Remember, this is the front, this area. So, don't put it this way. Always put it this way. And let's uh, rotate that back in. Are we in the center? So this is the irritating thing. This one. Fitting this screw inside here. Fitting this screw inside. That is the most irritating thing I've ever come across. But it's done now. And now I can mount my camera onto the gimbal. Okay, now you see the main biggest problem of this gimbal, gimbal is that, see it's locked, it's supposed to be locked, but the thing can still run, slide, so your camera will go forward or it will fall backwards. So. What I found out was, after many experiments, I found out, can you see that, that plate here? Can you see, can you see that plate here? You have to press it down. You have to press it down and then lock it. Then it won't fall. It won't slide. This is either poor quality design or bad manufacturing. The fact that this can this thing can lift up when you are turning when you are turning the little locking arm. 
So that's really bad. Now what is really worse is that there's one locking arm here, there's another one here. And if this gives way, <laughs> you're in for trouble because how do you reach down there and press it, press it down? You can't. So that's the problem with this design. Oops, I have unscrewed it. See, this thing is. Let me remove it and tighten the screw first. It's a wonderful design, but I think it's really poor quality stuff. Let's press that down first. We done. It's supposed to be somewhere here, isn't it? Let's press. So you can see the other problem is it's it started to slip again. So you can let me just lock that down. So you can see the other problem is it's it's at that angle it won't level because you can see this arm is not long enough if a, if this end was extended up to somewhere here it would fit and I could balance this camera without using a small cage So that's the reason why I say that it's not the camera is too light, it's this thing that is designed badly, this one, this length is too short. If they had it a bit longer, then many cameras can be balanced on this. Okay, ideally. It would have been wonderful if they had a screw here so that I could shift the camera forward or backward ever so slightly to fine tune the the center of gravity and balancing of the camera right and it would have been nice if they had one more here right to uh, adjust the left and right positioning of the camera and one more here right so that I could vary the height up and down to adjust the center of gravity that would have been wonderful I've shown you the problems now you have to decide whether you love to use a gimbal or your hands are better but more than anything else choose a good gimbal look at the problems of how to use and assemble and mount your camera and balance it on the gimbal because it is definitely not easy choose something that is easy to handle actually i wouldn't have been so upset by this uh, gimbal if the price was much lower i paid about 270 us dollars that's about 1080 ringgit it's it's not the quality i was expecting for 270 us so check out my other videos and subscribe and like my videos so that you can make sure that a lot of your friends know about 
these gimbals. Good, isn't it? 